In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on working with custom tags. What's a tag anyway? A tag is a way in which you can mark certain elements that you use in your projects, whether it's a transition, a title, piece of media, so that you don't have to sort through everything that you have and it will save you time for things that you use often or certain things you want to focus on in a certain project. So let's look a little bit at using tags. I'm going to take the tags and I can apply them to the media room, title, transition, effect, or overlay room. Let's use media last because it's a little bit of an odd duck. Let's take the titles, for example. I'll click there. And here I have some of the titles that I have available. Let's say I want to create a new subset of titles. So to do that, I click on the icon in the lower left corner called add a tag. It wants a name. I will call this one September presenter. Now there's nothing assigned to this particular tag. To assign something, all I need to do is click on one of the ones I want and I can either right click and choose add to custom tag and it will give me the tag I just created and now it's added. If I click on September, that's all I see. Let's go back to my titles again. Let's do another one. Here's Cyberpunk. I'll click on it to download it. Right click and then I will do add the custom tag and now it's in my September. Let's go down and drag to September. It will always be at the bottom and here are my two. If I want to remove it, I need to right click and I can do remove from tag. It will not remove the element from my resources, just from the tag. But there's another way to add it too. I can take any of these and I can simply drag and drop. Let's take Cyberpunk, put it back in September, and there it is. Now, if I want to create another tag, let's say I want to create one called August, and I'll go back to any of the tags that I want to use. Let's take this one. I can right click on it add the custom tag and now you see I also have August. I can add any of these elements to more than one tag at the same time. So now this will be both in the August folder and in the September. If I want to remove a tag all I need to do is right click on it and, and click on delete. I can rename it if I want to change the name of it. It will not delete the media. It will just delete the tag. So that's how it works for titles. For transitions, it would be the same way. I have a category called My Best, which I use often, but I can take any of these and I can either drag it to the custom tag called My Best, or I can right click and say Add to Custom Tag, and there we go. So now that one is added to the My Best, this Shape 02. So I can use that with titles, transitions, same way with effects. I have one called Best LUTs that I like to use. I go to my filters and LUTs, and let's just uh, take one and drag it to Best LUTs. And now if I want to focus on my Best LUTs, my Movie 05 is available. And it also works with overlays. And let's open the side panel for my overlays. Here I have one called Primary. And I can use this for overlays, stickers, anything in this category. And I can take it and drag it down or right click. Let's click, put this one into primary. And now that's been added. So very simple. So that's how you add these elements. You give them this designation. Now the nice thing about any tag that applies to titles, transitions, effects, and overlays, it's project independent. So when I open up a new project, when I open up a project I've edited before, all the work I've done to add a tag to the element will retain its settings. So it doesn't matter what project I have. Likewise, if I change it in any project, it will change it for any project in the future. So it's basically tied into the interface when it comes to using these tags for transitions, titles, effects, and overlays. Now media is totally different. So let's look at tags with media. So this can be confusing. I'm going to change my filter so all I see is my videos. When I want to use tags in the media room, all the rules change. Tags will be nested as subcategories in several of these, but not all of them. 
I've clicked on my media. I have two elements here. And if I want to add a tag, you notice it's available. It's not grayed out. I'll add a tag to the my media and I'll just call this sample. Now this will not be retained between projects. It's only for this project because I'm in the media room and sample is empty. I'll go back to my media, right click. There is an option here. Oh, it worked. It doesn't work on all of them. Okay, I'll add it to sample. And now when I click on sample, now I have this media. I use this a lot when I want to take elements and I have tons of things in the, the media and I only want to isolate few of them. It will not work currently with audio files. It will only work with video files and graphic files. Let's look at stock media. Here's another one that's very useful. So I'm going to add a tag to my stock media group. This will add a nested subset. I will call this use first. Okay, go back to the stock media. And let's see. This doesn't allow me to add a custom tag, but I can cheat by dragging. And I'll take this one and this one, drag them both, and I go to the use first, and now I have them here. So it's a nice way to take some of the stock media and isolate it for this project. Again, when you're in the media room, it only applies to the project. It's not universal. And then we can do the same with color boards. I have another one I've already created called More As Well. Let's take the blue one and drag it over there. And now I have a gray one and a blue one. So this will stay in the More As Well category. I can remove the category or rename it. If I delete it, it's gone. But again, it didn't mess with my media. When it comes to background music and sound effects, tags do not apply. The one thing that's a really, a rather odd is background images. When I click on the background image, it will allow me to create a tag. But notice the tag is not created as a nested tag under background images. It goes way to the bottom. I'll just call this my test. And now I can take a background image. Let's take this wood. For some reason, the thumbnails aren't showing up. Not sure why. And if, if I right click on it, again, it will not let me put it in there. But if I drag down to the bottom to my test, I can drag it. And that means I've tagged it. And now all I see is that. But the background images do not are not nested. They are at the very bottom. And the odd thing about the background images, and I can, I can also add an image to a video to it. So let's go to my test, click here, and now I can add the video. If I'm clicked on the media, I'm clicked on the background image, and then click on the my test. I'm going to see both. The, the key thing to remember when it comes to tags is they're very useful. When you're working in the media room, they only apply to the project. If I shut down this project, load a new project or a different project, anything here will not be saved. But for titles, transitions, effects, and overlays, they're tied into your entire system. Those settings are not changed between projects.